Good morning. Welcome back to The Bright Side. We are your hurricane headquarters and I'm meteorologist Amanda Pappas. A year ago today, we saw Hurricane Ian made landfall along the southwest Florida coast and made major impacts and it was a devastating day for southwest Florida and the west coast of Florida in general. So that system, we have a lot to learn from it. We have to learn from our past to be then prepared for the future. So a look back in the history of Ian. Ian became a hurricane as it's meandering out there in the the Caribbean and tried to use that warm water as energy. Then it became a major hurricane and made its first landfall in Cuba, then continued to push out, saw a weak little trend of weakening. And then it restrengthened and rapidly intensified into a major hurricane and then made landfall. This is Monday, you could see, and made that landfall September 28th back a year ago today and was devastating to an entire community with the storm surge. And that's why we always say surge is the number one killer with any tropical system. We have a lot to learn from it and it finally made landfall in South Carolina bec before becoming a remnant low. So essentially what we learned from that guys is that we always need to be prepared for hurricane season. It was a year ago today at 3.05 PM and that's something we can't forget, especially since we still do have activity out there in the tropics. These two areas though, no threat to the state of Florida, thankfully. But the next name on that list is Rena. We see a high percentage of this forming potentially in the next seven days.